Okay, here we are back again. America Recycles Day. Oh, I can't wait to find out what we can recycle because when I saw that list, Angelina, I could not believe the, the tin foil off the wrap. I mean, what? I mean, holy moly. Absolutely. There's so much, Anne, that you can recycle. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I'm so excited to be here with yeah, you. Yeah, again. And to um, <laughs> tell all your viewers about America Recycles Day. Yeah, you're working with uh, Co Cornell Co-op, too? Uh, yes, I'm employed with Cornell yeah. Cooperative Extension, and I'm working with SKIAC's recycling team to put this event together. Okay. SKIAC is the Schenectady County Environmental Advisory Council. Okay. Um, they have a recycling committee that's a bunch of dedicated volunteers. They're really excited to put this event together to celebrate America Recycles Day. And this is going to be at the Skunky County Community College in that's, the parking lot? That's right. It's one day it's gonna only. Be big enough? It's going to be a uh, <laughs> drop-off program for okay. a lot of items that are kind of hard to recycle. And there's no charge for this? There's no charge. It's totally free. Okay. And there's going to be an education fair as well. So. And that's going to be outside? Yes, it's okay. an outdoor event. Um, America Recycles Day is actually a program through Keep America Beautiful, and it's really a call. That was Linda Bird, uh, right? Linda J Johnson. Absolutely. Linda Bird Johnson, right? Okay. <laughs> it's really a call to action for communities to come together and try to engage their neighborhood with the importance of recycling. So SKIAC wanted to pull something together to celebrate that. So America Recycles Day is nationally celebrated on November 15th, but you can come out on November 11th and bring a wide variety of items okay, that and are let, let's kind of talk hard about, to recycle. Let's talk about this list real quick. It's quite a list. We've American able, flags. Why American flags? Because well, American why would anybody flags, want to recycle those? Well, that's something that people are kind of unsure about how to properly handle oh, or dispose of, of that. So okay. we've been able to partner with a lot of really great community um, collaborations to bring this together. So American flags will be um, Are they going to be reused to, or destroyed? Yes, they'll be donated to the VFW and they have okay. a program for um, disposal that's appropriate if your flags and if they're are still good, they'll not use them in again. good condition. Yeah. Right. So okay. on this day, we'll, we've partnered with City Mission to collect clothing, shoes, and textiles. Oh, so City Mission will be there to accept City those City Mission things. will be there, that's right. And you can bring um, anything. anything, regardless of condition. Because they do have, have a torn product. clothing or anything like that. Because those are recycled by the pound. That's right. Okay. It, they will get recycled. We've partnered with an organization called Upstitch that collects sewing supplies and knitting supplies. So um, the folks can come out and bring yarn and buttons oh, really? and needles. So and it's not going to be thrown out. It's, it's going to be gonna used. It's going to be reused. They're a creative reuse organization. Because we talk about recycle, that. reuse is, is yes, one of the big absolutely. things. absolutely. Yeah. And we've partnered with so many um, wonderful collaborations to, to get this stuff reused and recycled. So um, we'll be collecting film plastics that are going to get recycled through Price Chopper supermarkets. And Price Chopper has also donated 100 reusable um, grocery shopping bags okay. to be given away yeah. for free. That's nice. So if you come I, out I use them to all the, the time. education fair, you'll get a ton of free reusable prizes if you can answer some recycling trivia questions. What do so. you do with cell phones? Cell phones, well, if they are not in working order, they're definitely going to get recycled. But if you do have an unwanted cell phone that's still working, it's going to get donated through the YMCA. What do you mean by still working? I mean, they uh, all work, don't they? Well, some of them, they're, they, run out they of... go outdated and they um, are not really in okay. working order. So you okay. can bring cell phones if they're broken, if they're working, um, all kinds of stuff. We're collecting Eye eyeglasses for the, the Lions, Lions Club. Like say the yeah, Lions that's Club. right. Yeah. Um, so really just a bunch of really great community partners. Um, I'd also like to mention that Stuart shop has donated 50 reusable coffee mugs that they're we're going to oh, be nice, giving nice, away nice. for free and they were really if great. If you don't have um, one of those, get one. <laughs> yes, because using reusable items is the best way that you can yeah. reduce waste. I, so, I you know, um, I've you know. always tried to reuse what I have, you know, somebody gives me something in a plastic container, I either pass it on to somebody with some food in it or something, you know. But I, I hate to throw, and I use jars all the time, glass yeah. jars for everything storage. Absolutely, yeah. it's so important. Yeah. So yeah, if you can have a reusable water bottle, a reusable coffee mug, and reusable grocery bags, you'll I be do that. set. I do and that. And so if you come out on November 11th, we'll hook you up with all of that stuff. Yeah, and that, more, we have tons of What's uh, a go-go squeeze thing? I said that before the show. What the <laughs> heck is a go-go? So yeah, there's some uh, interesting collection programs we're gonna do. So go-go squeeze packs are those on-the-go snack pouches that are are commonly used for like children's applesauce or something like that. Oh, you mean um, like yogurt? Yeah, no. like yogurt, like yogurt squeeze pouches. Okay. Um, that's 
a collaboration with Create Community Studio. Oh, they're wonderful and down on State Street. Yeah, and they yeah, Heather um, Heather Hutchinson is it? Yeah. Yes, and they also are collecting foil wrappers from granola bars, okay. snack bars, and things like that. Um, so they'll be collecting that. Sikkim, the Schenectady okay, yeah. Inner City Ministries. They ran last week, yeah. Um, unopened cans of baby food. There's a real need for that in our food pantries. So okay. you can um, go ahead and bring that to but that's our not event to, as well. That's not something that you're going to dispose of. You're going to buy no, it and bring ev it. Yeah. Everything that the community brings yeah. will either get reused through an um, interesting community partnership or recycled properly. And then you said the accessories. Now that is used for art or is that used Yarn for? Yarn and sewing accessories. Okay. Yeah, so Upstitch will collect. Um, sewing needles, buttons, fabrics, patterns. Oh, I gotta get. I'm all gonna bring everything. To Go you. ahead and bring it out, and we'll make sure I that it gets so recycled. I have so much of those. I've been collecting <laughs> buttons for umpteen years, you know. And I, but I do use them, but I don't need all of them. Absolutely. <laughs> Good. So all kinds of great stuff. We're collecting styrofoam packing peanuts. Mm -hmm. um, you know, don't you just hate styrofoam? It's so I hate persistent styrofoam. in our lives. So it. if you bring us your styrofoam packing peanuts, they're actually going to get reused through the post office, yeah. oh, good. which is something people don't realize. You know that they, there is a demand for them yeah. to um, always you, have that yeah, on yeah. hand, so exactly. they can recycle that. And I have to load up my car when I come down. Yeah, that's right. Um, Ski X recycling team, as I mentioned, is a really great network of really dedicated volunteers that that pulled this event together and I've been involved with them um, to kind of bring the education fair component as well so it's going to be really great it's from 10 to 2 on Saturday November okay. 11 I got, I got and it's down. fun for uh, for all ages you can um, bring your kids and how do we how do we how do we pull in there we pull in there off of Yep, it's in the main parking lot of the community okay. college. So there'll so be down signs State Street directing you to yeah. where to come. Yeah. Come on down to the main parking lot, and you'll be greeted by our volunteers directing you for where to go. And okay. uh, if you have you a don't lot just dump of it all stuff, off. They're no, going to say we'll, go here and we'll there. We'll be able to help you with okay. unloading your vehicle if you have a lot of heavy yeah. bags of clothing or so, something like that. Yeah, this but is going to be exciting. We're I have to start so working excited. on Friday Absolutely. to make I have everything done for <laughs> get ready for and you. And it's so important to engage our community with the importance of recycling. And that's really why we wanted to pull this event together. We need to be conscious, thinking consciously about that. Uh, one of the things that I think we forget is that if you don't bring it into the house, you don't have to get rid of it. That's right. You know, so think about what you buy and all that extra packaging. I talked to somebody once. They said, I get so mad when I buy something and it's got all this packaging. I take it out of the package in, my, in the parking lot and then I go back and bring it to the store. Exactly. The if you can reduce waste before it even comes into your life, that's the most effective way to Abs make a difference. Absolutely. Right? I'm going to say who's coming on next week and then we'll continue to talk. I, I just, this is like my job here. So next week we have Cap Rep. They're going to be talking about She Loves Me. That sounds good. Uh, we have the Holiday Lights on, um, by Albany uh, Police um, Association, and they're going to be telling us all about that. The Center for Women in Government and Civil Society, we're going to be hearing from them. Uh, they're over in Albany. We're going to be talking with Saratoga Schenectady League of <coughs> Women, uh, uh, League, Junior League, I'm sorry, with their Holiday House Tour. We're going to be talking about the Troy Turkey Trot, and the Waterford Museum is having events coming up. So let's get back to recycling. That sounds like here. such a great show. It we is. It's so much every fun. One, we, I have a good time every week. That's here. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I and really I really want it. to encourage people to go down there. Will they take cardboard and newspapers? No. Um, no, because that's something you can recycle at home. So we're okay. really trying to collect items that are hard to recycle and connect them to community partners that can make that happen for us. I love the idea so, of yeah. the community partners. Absolutely. I so really many great do. ones. Phillips Hardware has donated some um, gift certificates for prizes. Walmart has donated gift certificates for prizes at the education fair. I mean, there's tons of stuff that we're giving away. I can't so wait. So come on down, get some I've been a recycler all my life. Get rid of some stuff, do it right with us, and yeah. have a great time. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, I was brought up during an era when, you know, you had to really reuse things and not think about waste. So Absolutely. anyways, thanks for what you do, Angeline. I'm so pleased to have Absolutely. you here. Absolutely. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, good. On. You've been watching Schenectady today in and around the Capital Region. Watch us next week. we got another great lineup.